Hey, it's Justin from Jacob Duck Reptiles here. I'm going to be talking to you today in our Pro Tips video about water bowls. You know, last week we did the very first Pro Tips and we talked about substrate, talking about aspen versus newspaper and what I do here in my own snake room. And today I'm going to show you the same thing with water bowls, what I do here at Jacob Belka Reptiles. Most people are using a water bowl that looks like this. It's just a, a standard glass water bowl. This is actually the water bowl that I used to use in my hatchling ball pythons. And the downside to it, there's a few downsides. First one is that it has a rounded bottom. It's not the best water bowl. The hatchlings, as they got a little older, they can push it over. The other downside with this kind of water bowl is if you have a lot of ball pythons, it's time consuming. If this bowl gets dirty, you have to wash it out. You have to you know, scrub it and sanitize it. So this is not the best solution. And for that reason, I started going to deli cups as my water bowl of choice. This is a two ounce Dixie cup. And it's about two inches across. And to hold it upright, I use a PVC two inch coupler. You can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot. And they're an excellent solution for keeping your water bowls upright. Now, this is what I used to use for a coupler. This is just a standard coupler. It's got it's smooth on both sides. And the problem I was starting to have with these is that the snake can kind of push down the water bowl. And you see here it gets displaced and it'll leak out if there's very much water in there. Plus, it's a little bit more difficult to get out of the out of the coupler. And so this is the one I suggest you guys pick up. It's a little bit more expensive. It's around $2 each. And it is a, also a 2-inch coupler. It's smooth on one side and has got the threads on the other. And the threads make it so that the dilly cup sits down in there properly without getting stuck in there or tilting over at all. So, so what you guys need, is, again, it's a 2-ounce Dixie cup. You can buy it from superiorenterprises.com or you can get them on eBay. I get mine on eBay. And a 2-inch threaded PVC coupler. That's for a hatchling ball python. The next solution, actually, first of all, let me show you how I set that up in my ball python tub. Here is a, this is a shatter fire actually that I hatched in 2009. Pretty little boy, and I'm looking forward to proving out his genetics this year or next. This right here is a standard hatchling ARS tub that I showed you guys last week. Got the aspen bedding in the bottom. And several of you asked me why I don't have a tub inside this mold. I actually do have, you know, little tubs for this. But the reason why I don't use them is, first of all, because of their size, the snake tends to drag the substrate down into the tub. Plus, these are actually a little bit more expensive than the, the smaller um, cut deli cups that I use. So what I do is I put my coupler down in here with the cup and the mold still works and keeps the snake from pushing this around the tub and it also actually uses a barrier and makes it even more difficult for the snake to push it over and spill water in the tub. So that's how I set up my hatching ball pythons. For my adults, I'm using a 4 inch deli cup. This is made by Fabrical. And you can also purchase this at superiorenterprises.com. And to hold it upright, I'm using a 4 inch PVC coupler. Now, this doesn't need any threading or anything. The 4 inch cups fit really well down inside here. I use this for all my adult tubs that don't have built in holders. And this can be pushed around the cage a little bit, but it's not going to tip over. I have not had a snake tip these over before. Um, they're an excellent solution. And this costs about $250 to, to $4, depending on where you find it. Lowe's, Home Depot, any kind of hardware store would be great. I'll show you one of my older tubs here and how I have that set up. This is a black exanthic ball python, the female. You see here I have the, the four inch coupler, the four inch fabricale cup down inside here. And it's a great solution. The nice thing about the jelly cups and the reason why I use them is because they're extremely sanitary and they save you a lot of time. If it gets really dirty, I just throw it away. I will wash them sometimes if they're just barely dirty, and that's up to you. If you're really in a hurry, you can throw them away. Their, their cost is, is low enough that you still save money doing that. And the other reason I use them is if there's any other any question as far as whether or not they're really clean or whatever, throw them away and you know for sure that they're clean. If you have a snake that's sick with respiratory or anything else that you know, you're worried about bacteria being transferred from the snake, to the water, what will happen if it, in the case of a sick snake, 
is that the bacteria will sometimes breed in the water and then when the snake drinks it, it'll reinfect the snake even if the snake is already getting better. So with this kind of, of water bowl, I can just throw it out and I'll go through these really fast when I have a snake that I think is sick, um, just to make sure that the snake is not getting transference of the bacteria from the water back to the snake. So that's about it as far as water bowls. I want to know what your questions are. I want to give a quick shout out to Sean Pruitt a prototype of pythons. He brought me this shirt today and uh, he's a great guy. I hope you check out his site, prototypepythons.com. And I also want to give you guys a quick shout out here about the Viper program. It's available on my website. It's a free demo. You can also get a hard copy if you come see me at a show or if you order a snake, I'll put it in the box for you. And uh, you can buy the, the full version of my site. You can download the demo on my site. Either way, I just hope you check it out. Give me some feedback on that. Let me know what you think. And next week for our pro tip videos, we're going to be doing racks, talking about melamine versus plastic versus metal versus aquarium. We're going to talk about all the different options, what the pros and cons are, what's best for your snake, and uh, what you can afford, and all the little factors that fall into that. So thanks for watching my video. Hope you got something out of it.